Oh, hi, Odie. I'm just about to take a test call. How brave Ready? are you? Here's your first situation. A poisonous snake is coming at you. I'm not afraid. A giant grizzly bear is attacking. I'm not afraid. A man-eating lion is loose. I'm not even afraid of a cat-eating lion. An army of monsters and werewolves and vampires is attacking. I am absolutely, definitely, utterly not afraid. Oh, Garfield. My nieces Drusilla and Minerva are coming to visit. <laughs> but I, I, I lock the door, bar the windows, we have to move to another country. Help! Help! <laughs> Snakes and birds and monsters can only eat you. These are John's nieces. Don't you remember them from last season? Show 17? <laughs> We hate it. That must be them. Oh. We have to hide, Odie. Under John's bed, quick. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hi, Uncle John. Great to see you, Minerva and Drusilla. Don't worry, Odie. Even if we have to stay under here the rest of our lives, I'm prepared. I knew John's nieces might come back someday, so I stored 25 crates of canned lasagna. Gee, I wish I'd have brought some for you. What can they do to us? They can dress us up in frilly doll clothes like they did last time. But I'm determined. I'm absolutely not going to let them do that to me again. No! Stop! Help! Don't! Call the Humane Society! Call somebody! And the worst part is, I don't even look good in this color. Hey! Kitty Cat! Bridal gown for you to try on! You'll be so beautiful! <laughs> This is not good. You ladies know how hard it is to run in high heels. Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> badness. The oh. kitty cat can fly. Let's dress him up as a flight attendant next. My, you're a plump one. Almost big enough for my oven. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cauldron. Is she a witch? She looks like a witch. Maybe I am, and maybe I'm not. But, my, you're an adorable little girl. And, my, you're an adorable little girl. And, my, you're uh, not. Uh, and, my, you're not exactly Miss Universe yourself, lady. <laughs> Girls, uh, let's let Mrs. Cauldron get home with her shopping, okay? Oh, thank you. And maybe you'll come and visit me sometimes, little lady. <laughs> Let's take you girls inside and read you a story. Yeah, we want to hear a story about a witch. Yeah, we want to hear Hansel and Gretel. It's got a witch okay, in it. Okay, Hansel and Gretel it is. Odie, huh? if you laugh at the way I look, if you so much as giggle. <laughs> Good. <laughs> meow. He's right. <laughs> and so Hansel and Gretel follow the breadcrumbs to the house of the Wicked Witch. <gasps> the Wicked Witch invited them inside and offered them gingerbread. <laughs> Don't just stand there, Odie. We have to prepare to defend ourselves. That story can't last forever. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going on a spying mission to find out what the enemy is up to. <laughs> and so the evil witch tried to push Hansel and Gretel into the oven, but they were too fast for her. 
Never mind the fortress. It wouldn't keep him out anyway. I've got a better idea. I need to go to the market so I can make dinner for our guests. Keep an eye on Drusilla and Minerva while I'm out, Garfield. I'm counting on you. You've made this mistake before. Oh. This is the moment of truth, puppy face. We have to act fast. We have a nice prom dress for you to try on. Look, Drusilla. You're Drusilla. I'm Minerva. All right. I can't tell us apart. There's candy. This is so good. <laughs> Breadcrumbs like in the story. Mm. We'll eat them to Mrs. Cauldron's house. Me. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Come in. We'll have tea. I like tea. I want hot cocoa. Oh, come in. We have so much to talk about. <laughs> That'll keep him away while I do something of vital importance. <laughs> of course, a nap. <laughs> Ah, oh, poor Mrs. Cauldron, such an odd lady. Always dressing up like a wicked witch. Hey, what if she is a wicked witch? Nah, there's no such thing, and besides, it isn't Halloween. <sighs> I hate conscious. Give me some good, good stuff. <laughs> Bubble, my fine potions. I just need to add some Eye of Newt, three ounces of raven toenails, <laughs> and the final ingredient, two identical bratty laces. Help! You mean old Wicked Witch! You wouldn't do this if our friend Garfield was here. Well, your friend Garfield isn't here. And even if he was, he'd be too fat and lazy to help you. Garfield, help! Where are you? She's a wicked witch. She's a wicked witch. And she's going to do wicked witch things to John's nieces. I've just got to save them. Yeah. Ow. Oh, Wait a minute, do I? Yes, I guess I have to. This is it. Goodbye, Drusilla. I keep telling you, you're Drusilla. I thought I was Minerva. It doesn't matter. You're both ingredients. <laughs> I hand those annoying children. Hey, do I know how to make a big entrance or what? Oh, <laughs> this is perfect. I have a recipe that calls for a goat. Huh? <gasps> and just where do you think you're going to get a goat at this hour? <laughs> sure, do it the easy way. <laughs> oh! <laughs>
What happened? Where am I? Garfield! Where are Drusilla and Minerva? The evil witch is putting them into the twin casserole. I have to save them. <laughs> Drusilla! Minerva! Don't worry. Garfield's coming to save you. Don't put them into your recipe, Mrs. Caldwell. Don't! Oh, hello, Pussycat. Did you come to join us? We're having tea with Mrs. Cauldron, and we're learning all sorts of interesting things. <laughs> you knew it was a dream sequence all along. Why didn't you tell me? Thank you for a lovely conversation, Mrs. Cauldron. Oh, and all the things you taught us. Oh, come back and visit us any time, dears. <laughs> Thank you for coming to get us, Garfield. Mrs. Cauldron convinced us we shouldn't make you play dress up anymore. Ah, <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> I guess everything turned out great after all. He'll make a great goat. Let's make him into a big one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like lasagna for dinner tonight. For some reason, I have bleh, craving for old tin cans. Meow. Nice long sleep. Now I need to decide what I want to do today. I think I'll take a nap. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> mm. Oh, Garfield, I should tell you what's going on here. I don't care. Nothing. But nothing is going to get me out of this bed. Drusilla and Minerva are coming to visit. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, there's no point in you watching the rest of this episode. I'm not going to be in it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know, he's some relative. <laughs> Hello, Drusilla. Hello, Minerva. <laughs> no, she's Drusilla, and she's Minerva. Where's the hat? We want to play with the hat! We want to dress him up, style his hair! We want to paint his nails! We want to braid his tail! See why I'm not in this episode? Garfield's not here. He's on vacation or something. But I'm going to read you a nice story. <clears throat> it's the story of Penny Henny. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a chicken named Penny Henny. She was a lovely chicken, but she did have a tendency to worry a lot. She worried about lots of things that never happened. Then you aren't enjoying this story very much, are you? We came to see Garfield. We love Garfield. Put Garfield in the story. <sighs> okay, I'll put Garfield in the story. <clears throat> so, while Penny Henny was walking around the farmyard worrying about this and that, she didn't notice her friend Garfield the cat was up in the barn, enjoying some ears of corn. <laughs> Uh. 
one of the corn cobs hit Penny Henny on the head, and she came to the scary conclusion. <laughs> oh, the sky is falling. Why did she think that? Uh, sorry? Why did she think that? The sky is the dense, gaseous part of the atmosphere or of outer space visible from the surface of any astronomical object. <gasps> it looks nothing like a corn cob. <laughs> Just listen to the story. <sighs> so, Penny Henny was very worried. That was when Garfield came down from the barn. Why so worried, Penny Henny? Allergic to feathers? I'm afraid the sky is falling, Garfield. This chicken has all the brains of a rock, or worse, a dog. Garfield decided to have a little fun with Penny Henny. If the sky is falling, and I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it isn't, don't you think you should warn the rest of the world? <gasps> You're absolutely right, Garfield. I have to go warn the rest of the world. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! <laughs> this is too easy. The sky is falling! The sky she ran all over the barnyard until she came upon her friend, Rusty Rooster. The sky's falling! Rooster! Rusty Rooster! What is it, Penny Henny? The sky is falling! <laughs> well, it looks to me like it's right where it's always been. A piece of it hit me on the head! We could be having scattered fallings. A little piece here, a little piece there. Oh, oh no! no. Before you know it, kaboom. We have to warn everyone else. We sure do. The, the sky, sky is falling. The, the sky, sky is falling. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. There's a very important lesson to be learned here, folks. Stupidity is contagious. So, Rusty Rooster and Penny Henny ran around until they found their friend, Chucky Ducky. The, the sky, sky is falling. falling. The, the sky, sky is falling. falling. Sky is falling. Yes, a piece of it hit me on the head. It was the size of a car. Oh, I don't believe that. It's not possible for the sky to fall. It's true. It's true. The sky is falling. We must warn everyone. The sky is falling. It's falling. Where did they say? <laughs> I haven't a clue. And so Chucky Ducky, Rusty Rooster, and Penny Henny. Drusilla, Minerva? Daddy! We got bored and went for snacks. Like all of today's youth, we have short attention spans. Mother says that children today insist on immediate gratification. I don't. I think it takes too long. Please continue the story. <sighs> Okay, so Penny Henny, Rusty Rooster, and Chucky Ducky ran around looking for Lucy Goosey and Tommy Turkey and Billy Goaty and Whoopty Doopty. And who comes up with these names? The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Finally, they ran into Freddy Fox and they told him. The sky, the sky is falling! Is falling. The, the sky, sky is falling! falling. <laughs> 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 just hit me on the head! It was the size of the Eiffel Tower. You're in luck, my friends. I know just the place you can hide until this disaster is over. Come on. What? Freddy Fox led them through the forest to his lair. It's completely skyproof, and it even has a hot tub. <laughs> but. The hot tub was actually a pot on Freddy's stove, large enough to cook several plump birds. Garfield knew he had to save them, but how? Garfield would Garfield do it! Garfield can do anything! 
In a nearby garbage dump, he found an old cracked coconut and the roll out of an old roll of toilet paper. <laughs> You can try all you want, Blunt. You're not getting away. What's that? That's probably nothing. But it sounded for a second there like the horns of a fox hunt. <laughs> Galloping horses? No, it couldn't possibly be a fox hunt. Yes? Just hold still for a second. All right, what's the big idea measuring me? Oh, it's not for me. There's a guy over there on a horse. He wants to make a coat for his wife. A coat? No! You won't get me, fox hunters! No! No, you won't! I'm gone! You can't have me! <laughs> so Garfield untied his friends and even apologized for letting them think the sky was falling. But he also told them... Don't believe stuff like that. Use a little common sense before you panic. We'll never panic like that again. Wow, we've got a lesson. Thanks, Garfield. <laughs> well, you should go to a little bit of schooling on learning how to quack clearer. Now I just need to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> oh, no! The sky is falling! Oh, no! The sky is falling! 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 And so, in spite of what they'd learned, Penny Henny, Rusty Rooster, and Chucky Ducky ran off to warn everyone. <laughs> now then, what's the moral of this story? Kitty <laughs> cat! Oh no! <gasps> uh -uh. Oh, no, stop! Stop! Don't do that! Jesus, <laughs> No, stop! Oh. <laughs> Puppy dog! <laughs> the moral of this story is, when Drusilla and Minerva are around, don't come home before the episode is over. <laughs> Did my lips to cook it? God, it is so. For those of you who watch the show in Spanish, hace calor. It's so hot. It's extremely hot. Buddy, we have to do something. We have to get off this floor and come up with some idea how to cool off, right? Okay. We get up on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> it's hot. Boy, is it hot. It is hot. It's so hot. Hot it is so. And we're looking at another week of record temps with no relief in sight. It's really, really hot. How hot is it? It's so hot people are now going on internet auction sites and bidding on shade. 
It's so hot, the Statue of Liberty is wearing a bikini. It's so hot, chickens Aww. are laying poached eggs. Who says the news doesn't take things seriously these days? We've only been able to find one man who is pleased about the record-breaking temperatures. It's Mr. Anthony Allwork, attorney and businessman. Mr. Allwork, everyone is suffering so. Why are you so happy about this weather? Well, you'd be happy too if you owned all the companies that make air conditioners, ice cream, and sunblock. Want a snow cone? Sure. 50 bucks. <gasps> Some people will make money off anything. But Garfield and Odie had a good idea taking those patio chairs out back. But I didn't hear the back door open. Oh. Ahem. Pull up a chair. I just drank all the lemonade, but you could suck on an ice cube. Garfield! When it's this hot, this is about as fast as any of us can run. I wonder who that is. Can't be the pizza delivery guy. He melted this morning. Huh? <laughs> Drusilla, Minerva. No, I'm Minerva. She's Drusilla. Hello, Uncle John. <laughs> what are you doing here? I. Oh no! Today was the day. Today was the day you promised to take us camping in the woods. You did promise, Uncle John. Yes, you, you promised. promised. But today, in this heat, out in the woods, you can't be serious. All right, you're serious. We'll go camping in the woods, in this heat. Yay! Will the kitty cat come along? You promised us the kitty would come along. We <gasps> will the kitty cat. I'm sure there's nothing Garfield would like more than to go camping in this heat with the two of you. Huh? No! No! I'll give up lasagna! I'll move in with Nermal! Anything! But don't make me go camping with Drusilla and Minerva! Kitty cat! We want to play with the kitty! We want to play with the kitty! No! No, Drusilla and Minerva! No! Quick, send me to Abu Dhabi. Fourth class if you have to, I don't care. Oh wait, you need a stamp on me. Just hurry, or I'll have to go camping with Drusilla and Minerva. Thanks, I'll take that. <sighs> it's too hot to try and figure this out. <gasps> We're taking the twins camping and that's that. Have pity on a poor kitty cat. I don't do camping. Help! He'll protect us from wild animals. Yay! Camping with Garfield! <laughs> I wanna be home, I wanna be home, I wanna be home, I wanna be home. Ah, finally, the tents are up. Now, I know what I wanna do. We wanna go for a hike! 
Let's roast marshmallows. Let's play hopscotch. We want to have a dance party. But it's 110 degrees in the shade. Shade? Where? I don't see any shade. I just want to dive in the lake and cool off. Yahoo! Huh? Wow, the sun is so hot. Most of the water in the lake evaporated. The lovely flowers are drying out in the hot sun. Do something, Uncle John. What do these kids want? Do they think John can make it rain or something? <laughs> oh. It's raining, it's pouring, all that is snoring. Odie, huh? all these years, I think we've been underestimating John. Huh? Oh. <laughs> the heat wave is over! This will cool everyone off! Uh, hold it. My cell phone's ringing. John's ringtone sounds very familiar. Odie, do you recognize that tune? Oh, are you... Kitty cat! Oh. We want to play with Kitty! We want to play with Kitty! Hello. Oh, hello, Aunt Ivy. No, I'm happy to talk to you. I'm happy because it's raining. Raining? Where are you? In the forest, about five miles from you. Aren't you enjoying this rain? Rain? I always knew you were out of your mind. But you're out of your mind! It's 112 degrees and there isn't a cloud in the sky! No, it's raining! And we're out here and... No, oh, wait! It isn't raining? <sighs> of course it isn't raining. Hey! It's snowing! <laughs> it's snowing! Just like at Christmas! It's almost a blizzard! Drusilla and Minerva are making a snow garfield! Oh. And the real Garfield just threw a snowball at me. Don't you see it snowing, Aunt Ivy? Don't you see? Aunt Ivy? Are you there, Aunt Ivy? Duh. I gotta get out of this family. Hmm. Odie, don't you think something a little odd is happening? My mistake, I asked Odie to think. Hey, it's getting windy. Uncle John, there's wind. Can we fly a kite? Oh, maybe we'd better get some shelter somewhere. Oh. And now it's hailing. Oh. Come on. Oh. Uncle John, we're scared. Don't worry, girls. I'm in charge. Now I'm scared. Rain, snow, hail, what's next? Sandwiches? <gasps> Cheese sandwiches! We better get out of here. Let's stick around. Maybe it'll start raining potato salad. Want to go find out, guys? Sure. Maybe later on it'll rain dinner. <laughs> the little cloud! The storm. It went into that house. We're scared. Oh. oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Huh? Oh, it's okay. Come on, man. You're not disturbing anything. I was just sitting here controlling the weather. Controlling the weather? Huh? Uh, I don't know what it's all about either, Odie. I hope this is a two-part episode so we can find out. <laughs> 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 
It's a two-part episode. I'm sorry, did you say you were controlling the weather, Mr...? Pre pressure. A high room pressure. Most people just call me high. Hello. And yes, controlling the weather, that's what I do. Or at least I used to. I don't blame you for being confused. Most people don't know about my work here. They think weather just happens. Oh. I always thought it was due to differences between the temperature and moisture in one place and the temperature and moisture in the other. <sighs> it's the educational part of the show. Oh. But that's true. They interact and that creates storms or heat waves or snow. But someone has to schedule it and direct it all. That's my job. Before I did it, my father did it. And before he did it, his father did it. And so on. But we plan the rain and the snow and the sleet. An occasional tornado. Oh, uh, what's that, Garfield? Ah, oh, uh -huh. my cat wants to know why you made it rain cheese sandwiches. I did? Uh, my lunch must have fallen into the machine again. <laughs> Once I spilled a head of cabbage in a jar of mayonnaise in there. For the next three weeks, it rained cold slaw in Portugal. <gasps> Well, can you do anything about the heat wave we've been having? Plants are dying, lakes are drying up. I know, I know. I didn't cause it. You see, my operation here got taken over by a big corporation. They duplicated and upgraded my equipment, but I guess they don't know how to use it either. I've been trying to stop the heat wave here. And that's what you have to stop doing. Mr. Allwork, he, he runs the company that took over for me. My technicians say you've been trying to cool things down. Stop doing that. But I thought maybe they'd made a mistake. No mistake. I want it that way. Beasley, tell them to go ahead. Right away, Mr. Allwork. The boss says go. I acquired your operation pressure, but I also bought this building. I know. I'm having it torn down right now so you can't meddle with my plans again. Uh, boss, shouldn't we not be in here? Good idea, Beasley. You didn't have to do that, you know. Yes, I did. Only one of us can control the weather, and that's going to be me. <sighs> there are people suffering from this hot weather. And people buying my air conditioners, my sunblock, and all the other things I sell. The hotter it gets, the more I make. Snow cone, for you, half price, $25. No. <laughs> Well snarled, puppy. That is not a nice man. <sighs> See you later. I have to get back to my office and raise prices on everything. This is all my fault. I never should have let him take over. Hi, little dog. Where's Garfield? Yeah, where's the kitty cat? <laughs> I saw your cat and dog get into Mr. Allwork's car just before it left. Well, he may be able to control the weather, but he's not going to be able to control Garfield. The 
Big lunches at two o'clock, sir. Good. I have just enough time to buy three more companies and fire everyone. Mm. Nice of that driver to leave his lunch in the trunk. Worldwide Weather Works, please hold. Should I know which button to push? I can't work anything more complicated than the TV remote. Huh? But this is the machine that's controlling the weather, making it so unbelievably hot so they can sell more air conditioners and things. <laughs> What's happening next? Well, probably some security guard spots us and yells, Hey you, you're not supposed to be in here. Hey you, you're not supposed to be in here! Hey, can I call him or what? Chasing. Everything's ready for the luncheon, and you've just acquired six companies that make heaters, plus nine that make winter coats. <laughs> Good. After we milk this heat wave for all it's worth, we'll start a cold spell that'll really clean up. What was that alarm? I'll go see, Mr. Allwork. <laughs> oh, I don't feel me now. Something new, indoor rain, for people who don't get out much. This is all your fault, you two! <laughs> what happened? I crashed into the weather controls, all because of a cat and dog running around. We have to catch them! Ugh, the technicians say they don't know how to stop this. Well, a little rain won't hurt us. We'll catch the intruders and then worry about it. We can't give up, Odie. The future of the planet may be at stake. Nothing can stop us. Oh, look, lunch. You're right, Odie. I'll eat later. But this food gives me another idea. <laughs> Grab as much as you can carry and follow me. A good meal starts with soup. Why haven't my guards caught these intruders yet? Mr. Allwork, do you smell clam chowder? It's raining clam chowder. What kind? The red or the white? <laughs> oh, oh, and now it's raining banana cream pies. And me on a 1,500 calorie a day diet. <laughs> Onion rings, diced carrots, a selection of cold cuts. <laughs> I see him, Odie. Quick, pass the canned ham. Okay, cat and dog, you're coming with us. Uh, the technician.
politicians say in order to stop this. You may have to bring back that man you stole the weather controlling business from. That pressure guy? Okay, call him. I have the feeling my business here is out of business. Mmm. Raspberry frosting. He gave me the whole operation back, Mr. Arbuckle. I should have the heat wave ended, but within a day or so. So you'll be controlling the weather again. I don't know. I've been thinking. Maybe I ought to try letting nature take its course. Controlling the weather is a lot of responsibility. Hey, hey, oh, right. Well, before you give it up, my cat has one thing he'd like you to do, kind of as his reward. Sure. Anything for Garfield. Will you see this, Odie? Hmm? We want to play, play with the kitty! We want to play with the kitty! Not right now, girls. We've arranged something special for Garfield. Did Vito make the delivery yet? He just got here, Mr. Arbuckle. And I've already programmed the storm to hit just your house. <laughs> Boy, that's good. <laughs> 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 it's Brady <Freddy> Lasagna! <laughs> 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 what kind of weather are you dreaming of? A white Christmas? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 